Bird. In this video, we'll be talking about how vodka is made at the Borders Distillery in our special unicorn still. And no, that's not a still shaped as a unicorn, although that would be pretty cool. We have a very rare type of still called the Carter Head Still, and there's only about six of those in operation in the whole world. And we happen to have one of them. So let's go see the Carter Head Still at work. is a type of still created in the 19th century by the two Carter brothers who originally worked under Aeneas Coffee, who's famous for the invention of the coffee still. Now there's only a handful of these stills in operation today and I did a quick Google search and found that Bombay Sapphire, Reitha Vodka, Hendrix Gin, and a distillery in Australia called Huntington's all have a Carter head still. You can see the still is three floors tall and takes up quite a bit of space. Now to make our Puffing Billy Vodka, we take about 2,000 liters of new make spirit and put it in the bottom of the still. This base spirit has already gone through two distillations already. The first in the wash still and a second in the spirit still. When people think about vodka, the first thing that comes to mind is usually Russia and potatoes. While potatoes are the traditional starting material for making vodka, what makes the vodka here so special is that our starting material is malted barley. In fact, the spirit that goes into the Carter Head still is the same spirit that we put into oak casks to mature into scotch whiskey. Well, kind of. At our distillery, we make scotch whiskey, vodka, and gin. So yes, the process to make all three products is the same, up until it reaches this spirit holding tank here. All three products begin in the mash tun with malted barley and water. The liquid is then drained off into a wash bath, and yeast is added to it. After it finishes fermentation, it will go through one distillation in the wash stills and then a second distillation in the spirit stills. After the second distillation, the spirit is around 72% alcohol and it will go into a holding tank. This is where the process for all three products starts to differ. If we want to make our scotch, then the spirit in the tank will be diluted and put into oak casks to mature and become scotch. However, if we want to make our vodka or our gin, then the spirit in the tank will be diluted and put into our Carter head still. When people try our gin or vodka, some people, those with excellent palates, will say it reminds them of whiskey. And that's perfectly right, since we know that our gin and vodka shares a lot of the same steps in the production process as with our whiskey. Anywho, back to making our vodka. Once we fill this with our new make spirit, we'll heat it up. This still has a special surprise inside. It's filled with these copper coils that you see here. The alcoholic vapor will rise up and come into contact with these copper coils, condense and the liquid will drop back down. It will keep doing this until only the purest vapors reach the top. This contact with the copper coils will help strip away any impurities or undesirable flavors in the spirit. As well, this part of the still is surrounded by a water jacket, meaning there's cold water surrounding the outside section of the still. This is to help with reflux. So what's reflux? Reflux is when the vapor meets a cooler surface inside the still and then it turns back into a liquid. It will fall back down the still and be redistilled. The more reflux there is in the still, the lighter and more complex the spirit will be. Once the alcohol vapor reaches the top, it will travel through here and into this section of the still. of 
inside this section, there sits four copper baskets, which have little holes in them. We'll do the first distillation in the Carter head still, and the baskets inside will hold nothing. Then we'll do two additional distillations in the Carter head still, only this time these baskets will have activated charcoal sitting inside. Activated charcoal is carbon that has been heated to a very high temperature until very small pores are developed in it. It acts to filter out any impurities in the alcoholic vapor. Once the alcoholic vapor passes through the activated charcoal, it will next travel into the condenser. The condenser has many tubes sitting inside it that have cold water running through them. The water will cool down the alcoholic vapor, turning it back into a liquid. The alcohol will then travel down these pipes and be collected into the tank here. At this point, water will be added to dilute it down to the correct alcoholic strength, 40%. Then we can bottle it up and sell it. Total, it takes five distillations to create our Puffing Billy vodka. The first distillation in our wash stills, the second distillation in our spirit stills, the third distillation in our Carter head still with the baskets being empty, and the fourth and fifth distillations taking place in the Carter head still with the baskets containing activated charcoal inside. Whew, it's quite a process. Now you know what makes our Puffing Billy vodka so special. It's not just that we make it in a very rare type of still, it's also that we use malted barley as our base material, which gives it that special hint of whiskey flavor. Special thanks to the Borders Distillery for taking part in this video. Please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more distilling and distillery videos. This is Brewbird, sending good vibes your way. I'll see you next time.